This is the Juki LU562. It has reverse. It has a standard size hook and bobbin. This machine has a standard size hook and bobbin, which is top loading. It has a stitch length, viewable through this window. The stitch length can be adjusted from 32 to 4 stitches per inch. One of the reasons the Juki has been so popular for so many years is its durability. And when we look at the bottom, it's not hard to imagine why it is so durable. Uh, this machine is very heavy. There is a lot of metal in this machine. The uh, Juki LU series uh, comes in at some of the heaviest machines that I've personally picked up. Now Juki has what they call a unison feed. Other manufacturers call it a triple feed. Uh, some people call it a compound feed. Uh, so it's not enough to just say a walking foot. So it actually has three feeding mechanisms. One is the needle, one is the foot, and one is the drop feed. Now the drop feed is typical to most sewing machines. You will have the feed dogs which rise up and push the material back or forward in reverse. But a triple feed also has a foot which meets the, the drop feed and as you can see the needle is now down and as I advance the machine the needle moves back with the foot and the drop feed. So now we've grabbed the fabric with the needle and move it to the back. That's unison feed. This is what makes this machine so good on upholstery and leather. This machine's foot lifts nice and high. According to the literature, this is 15 millimeters. This is five layers of composite leather. It's just cheap leather, but it's the type of thing that you would upholster a chair or a couch with. These five layers together are three-eighths of an inch thick. It easily passes under the foot. Reverse. And you can see that there is plenty of foot lift. Not that I would push this machine any more than, than that, but uh, this machine looks like it would perhaps do slightly more. Now, a lot of people ask if uh, <clears throat> a machine will do uh, leather and upholstery, but then they also want to know if it'll do uh, lighter material. Now, no machine does everything, but uh, these machines are pretty good all around machines. Now, I wouldn't sew a shirt on it necessarily, but uh, denim is definitely um, doable with these. So you could sew a pair of pants. Now, uh, I like to set up a machine with tension on uh, one layer of fabric. You can, you can get your tension dialed in. And so I'll just show show that just one layer one layer of denim and you can see this makes a nice stitch on just one layer of denim it's a nice balanced tension but uh, nobody sews one layer you sew several so usually two or, or four so this will uh, be a demonstration of four layers machine sews very, very nice, very smoothly. We can change the stitch length. 
this should be the, the maximum stitch length right here to give you an idea and then I will set this on 18 and here's 8 It's a nice, nice length. Tension release works. Works easy to remove. So you can see the, the varying, varying stitch lengths here. This is the maximum stitch length. And this right in here was what was 18 and, and and this line in here is what is listed as eight stitches per inch so it adjusts very well you can dial it in however you see fit thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel